Oh yeah. This is probably what we're looking for. What was the pattern? Hmm. It'd be like one, like one, two, three. Maybe that'll be like the sizes. Let's just take it piece by piece because it'll, it'll probably take a while. Um. Hmm. Do I want to just go for the bottom? Like here or here? Maybe here. We just gotta trust the theories. We just gotta trust the theories. Okay, so. Big one on the bottom, big one on the right. Middle one seems to have like a two. This might be a little big. <laughs> I mean, there's clearly three different sizes, yeah? That's that one. That one. So that's the only one I'm missing right now. What? Yes. I think I solved it. Oh, that was janky. It did like I didn't even get to like see it visibly. It just was like, eh, it's done. Like the last one I did didn't even show up. <laughs> Is that it though? I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. The funny thing is I was looking at this lens when I was starting and I, I actually thought it was like a demo of what I was supposed to put in because it looked like the spots were already on it before I put any, before I actually put any down, which is weird. Like I, I think when I walked up, the, all the spots I needed to put on this thing were already on that lens. And I was like, what's that thing with all the spots on it? That was a little weird. So I've got a special lens now. Okay. Probably done with most of those. Nope. Up, down, left, right. Haven't been back here for a while then, huh? Roy Granger, a member of Harry's expedition, died. There was a plan behind Harry's back to blow up an ancient door with dynamite. Looking through the telescope, I saw a ship stranded on a black beach on the other side of the island. That must be the Lady Shannon, the ship that took the expedition. Here. <laughs> Harry managed to solve the tiki puzzle and opened a secret compartment inside the chieftain's hut. It's where he kept his ritual garments and strange stone block. Touching it made me feel uneasy. Yeah, it also had creepy living oil in the cracks. That was distressing. I used the stone block from the secret compartment to activate some sort of ancient elevator. This gunk that many of his crew members refer to as black ooze seems to gurgle in the cracks of the stone. I found a shocking scene atop the cliff. An explosion tore open an ancient stone hatch, burning most of the rocky outcrop around it. Is this what killed Roy? I climbed down into the well that Harry's crew blew up. A series of strange eyes were depicted on the walls. They were calling me. Guiding me. Am I losing my mind? Yes. Welcome to the genre. <laughs> the crew's doctor was spattered with the black ooze during the explosion that killed Roy. He developed uh, marks on his arms like mine and started acting strangely. The murals tell a story of a ceremonial ritual involving the black ooze. Were they injecting it into their eyes? I'm not sure. But I think the islanders tried to imitate it. <clears throat> so we can get her and her interpretation. So she thinks that the goop was going into their eyes. I thought they were like extracting from those people, not putting stuff into them. Is there a news thing? Oh, been a missing piece of the open door. Oh, yeah. 
Someone went to a lot of trouble to keep people away from this place. Not that much trouble, because it was pretty easy to open. Is there a new one back? Oh! That's why there was a weird gap there from the beginning, because this dream drawing had to show up there. So the, the page switching arrows have asterisks on them to show when you have something new to go do in that direction. And this whole journal is being filled in non-linearly, which is pretty funny. Jeepers, a stranded ship. But it's like she just magically knows that she's like, I'll have to write something here later. I'm sure. Hmm. Okay, let's review. I'm trying to remember, do we already know of a place to put this lens? This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Stuff's weirdly well preserved overall. ladders. We, we were so spoiled by mist and the teleporting. <laughs> ladders in real time are always like, oh, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Did she did she photograph it or something? She had like a perfect recreation. How old is this mural? It looks really ancient. Just lights around here. Let's see. Controls. Like, did I miss having a lens using button? Because you get a lens like this in like one of the room games and it's suddenly like, okay, let's see everything differently now via my magic lens. Ah! I missed this, I missed this spot. There we go. There's an interaction there. Oh yep, that you're doomed. Sorry, let's see it. What? Uh, what on earth? Is, what is happening? My God, what? What was that that I saw? What were those stars? I was right. The lens does give us the answer to the combination, and the first thing that came to mind when I got the lens was like, I got it, I should put this in the telescope, but then I used the telescope and nothing happened, I'm like, ah, fuck. I guess it's something else. But then I wandered around the entire camp and found nothing, so... Here we are again. But I, I missed a spot. I missed an interaction spot. Hello? So there's like the North Star. So that's our starting point. So we want to curve through two of these. I can press these star-shaped tiles. Sure can. Especially if it doesn't fuck up when I press the first one. Try it again. There we go. Doop doop boop boop. Doop a doop. Easy enough. Right, looks like I solved it. Great Scott. Oh, the, the well is filling up. The, oh. The black ooze. No, no, no. What's happening? What's happening? 
You didn't even try to go for the ladder, lady. Come on. Well, that's uh, one fate pretty sealed, I would say. No big deal, it's just the bad, bad oozoos. What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding. Oh, giant fish man. Holy Moses, what... What is that creature on the horizon? That's, uh... Insight. Yeah. <laughs> The columns are getting weirder. I can breathe. Underwater. Uh I'll give it a Lovecraft pass, but these don't just like stand singularly and separately like this. That's definitely not how these work. That would imply that all of the ones between them eroded away independently for some reason while well, they're somehow fine. They're also all sticking at weird angles. Well. What was that sound? Uh, no one told me. What the fuck came out of the- Did somebody just come out of the water over there? Is it a fin? No one- uh, No one told me the game called Call of the Sea would have ocean segments. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. And there's glowing eyes. Am I supposed to go down towards that? I hate this. What is that? What kind of creature is this? I I legit hate this. I don't Is this what they want me to do? Can can I just go this way and leave? There's invisible walls. I have to go towards the fucking abyss. <laughs> I wanted a colorful puzzle game. Oh, fuck. I hate this, 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 I hate this. I need to get a closer look. No, you don't. Oh, it's okay. She's not a pilot. That's wait, is that just ruins? Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm a fish person. Yeah, it looked like it was just two glowing lights in the rock, which is for some reason making live animal noises. But the kinds you'd probably only hear above the water? Uh, what? What happened? That's the black ship, oh. isn't it? Or the black How sand ship? To this beach? Oh, I have a terrible headache. I thought this was a whale. The vanishing of the Lady Shannon. I just go whoop, and then I look back and oh, it's gone! No. Dude, they're landing in on basalt columns. It's the whole fucking game. <laughs> that ship torn apart and cast so far up the beach. What on earth could have happened to it? Here we are. Obviously, it's a visually striking thing in a vacuum, and you're like, whoa, look at that, and it's cool, and that's why people use it. 
But once you start like seeing it everywhere, you're like, oh, this is like the blue. This is like the the cyan and orange of the 2010s in video games. What else could be seen beyond these shores? Entire levels that are basalt columns, like an outer worlds, Rose and also. My Im my image gallery of like at this point probably hundreds of games I haven't counted. So have people been getting sacrificed on this thing. Is that what the notches mean? Because the notches, if you, I think the notches are there so that if you tie a rope through it, they can't slide the rope around on the thing because it'd be stuck in that divot. And they stick lights at them. Were they studying somebody as they transformed? Those are huge claw marks. As they transformed into a fish man. Looks like they took items from the stranded ship. It's too dark to see anything inside the tent. Never heard of this Eric Zan fella. You might need a better publicist. Magazine. I love Chandra Hogarth stories. What? Oh, Chandler R. Hogarth. Okay. I thought you said like Chala Hogarth or something like that. It's like, wait, did you just name some kind of Lovecraft monster or make one up? Because then, then I have questions. Because this is like when you have a zombie outbreak in in a setting that where zombies were already part of fiction in that setting. So you're like, what? This is really hard to read. Uh, you will find plenty of fascinating stories in Tales from Beyond, the unique magazine. All stories printed in Tales from Beyond will live forever in our reader's imagination. It's unrivaled, excellent stories of the weird, the shocking, and the horrible. Gripping tales that stimulate the mind and send shivers up the spine. Tales that take our readers from- this is really, ah, my eyes. From the- oh, stop it. It's flare- this lens photo doesn't even make sense. Ah. I give up. It's not- it's not that important. Portable typewriter. Photographic film. Transparent film cartridge. Ward and Blake News Agency, Cassandra D. Ward. Cults and Rituals. Is the rest of it unreadable? Is it readable when I click this? No. <laughs> it's a Q&A, but they just, like, you can't read it. What's funny is they seem to have written a Q&A. Like, answer, not at all. Like, if I tried really hard, I could read all of this eventually. It would just be a little hard. I'd have to, like, take notes. But, uh... Do they impress... is it? Alex? Is it? No, it wasn't way... <laughs> like, you could eventually figure something out. It's just... it's so blurry that it's hard to read. Why does it go off the page on this side? Hamlet comes to Boston in June. Wow. The Hamlet? Strange incident in Massachusetts. Happy news. Why don't they want us to read world building? I'm actually a little disappointed. Oh, we have the mention of Arkham. Like, they seem to have written an entire article. Like, the Gardner family. But that's a... I want to read the new. I want to read these articles. Give me your world building. That's some unfortunate word spacing. <clears throat> Ramit Soydam and his wife found dead at high seas. I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my illness. These newspapers are actually genuinely a, a, a disaster. So, Newport TR exhibition coming into Boston. So this fills the entire top page. But this is cut off? 
And that's cut off. Prohibition something Massachusetts. Like, what's going on here? What is up with this newspaper? I'm not sure if this makes sense. I was thinking maybe that maybe this is only the left or right side of the newspaper and it's a and it's an open fold so like maybe this is the gutter and so the left half of this article is on the left page but this one's also cut off on the right side so I'm like wait is this like an is this like some kind of infinite horizontal scroll like this one is cut off on both sides how wide was this headline like how, like how incredibly wide was this headline you'd get so tired trying to hold this newspaper so you could read it <laughs> But you're just supposed to notice the tiara. So, uh, is, is this recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, shouldn't we be listening to something, Frank? I have assembled and disassembled it. Twice. So it should be fixed, Mr. Eberhardt. I don't know. Maybe it was never meant to play music. Uh, uh, Brett. Where have you been this whole time? See, how's it going? See, how's it going? Oh, my God. He's got a knife! Get off me, you lunatic! Hold him! Hold him for Christ's sake! Call the Aurora, quick! Things didn't go so hot. My God. Look at his contorted face. Is this what's going to happen to me? It took the four of us to subdue him. Where'd he get that strength? And then they circle it. <laughs> so they totally did tie to him to that. That's why the notches are there. His footprints definitely do not look human. And the fish people came for him and took him into the sea. That's totally what happened. Is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rocks? The doctors seem to be whispering. To some rocks. Are they floating? Listen, rocks need friends too. That's why geologists exist. <laughs> Professional rock friend. <laughs> June 30th. Arrival on the island. July 1st, we set up camp. July 14th, Roy blows up the Wells hatch. So they were here for two weeks and then someone died. July 24th, we strike camp and move to the beach. July 14th, last entry into Lady Shannon's ship log. Oh. Oh. Did you guys release the flood? I think you guys released the flood. They blew up the hatch and then the Lady Shannon's... The, the same day the Lady Shannon got obliterated basically by so whatever giant leviathan clawed it up like that. So that, that totally means that the... Uh, blowing the hatch activated whatever that is. The, the great sea creature that we saw in our vision. Which is horrifying. So blowing up the hatch was immediately obviously a bad thing because it killed one person and then turned another person into a monster. But then it was also bad because it was like a... Did he take some amulets from the other campsite? Or did he call some more? It's like a cosmically bad thing. There are only four chairs around the campfire. Oh, yeah, there's that is there's a box <laughs> for They had dwindling numbers. Look at how just destroyed this stuff is. We'll save you for a bit later. Discarded clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. A handkerchief with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. Now you touched it. A white fedora. It's really dirty. I guess you'd be able to tell. 
Well, that poison. Oh dear, this dock was a certifiable loom. Yesterday, the stones danced with my song. My song. Mission leave? What? My song, mi jin liev, liege, everything is turned in this place. There is treasure in shot gorak lak flagon full flagle full flag. Started just throwing out some Cthulhu. These medical tools are hair raising. It is very dark. Is certainly well supplied with all kinds of substances. Let's double check real quick. Do I have a flashlight? <laughs> Journal buttons, run, examine, no. Now it's just really dark. Do these things turn on? It's like legit dark in here. And I'm like, oh no, it's gonna look even worse on YouTube. The doctor was certainly well supplied with all kinds of substances. I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Frank, I understand what you were saying, but we can't leave Harry here alone. I know you must be thinking I'm only interested in uh, interested in a scoop, but what would you do if these were your wife? If this was your wife that was sick, would you let her die? I'm staying here to the end. See. Oop. Ooh. Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. Miss Ward. Our wives, our lives are in grave danger on this island. Look what happened to Dr. DeWitt. The man is going completely bananas. I really think we should get off this island as soon as possible. Mr. Everhart was determined to leave until we found that organ thing. Do I have your support to try to convince him, Frank? Trying to get the hell out of here, and they probably should have. These two fellas seem to get along pretty well. Frank and Taya T. Herora singing while working in the workshop. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a thing visually, isn't it? Seeing like what looks like uh, Firewatch visuals all the way down to like the hand-painted looking uh, photographs, but then it's all like and then everybody died Violently or by losing their mind. Hooray. Oh, is that gonna- Aww You taunted me with the idea that might be lights Maybe I can turn the power on I follow this It feels like the way the way they use the basalt columns makes them look like a corruption. Like it's spreading like zerg creep across the island. And then there's always like these shafts of, of water going back out to the ocean. So even when you're inland, it feels like you're still being called back out. Like here's this here's this shiny walkway. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow. The son of a bitch DeWitt stabbed Frank. Luckily, it was just a flesh wound. It's a good thing they held me back, or I would have plugged that nutcase like the rabid dog that... Jesus, what am I saying? I I've never seen Harry so angry. Yeah, he was just talking about shooting somebody, I believe. That's what he means by plugged. He was going to kill that man. Wow, look at the size of these stones. All carved up, too. Megalithic basalt stones. South Pacific expeditions. Hmm. The mega. The, the, it feels like they're. Ooh, hello. Hmm. These symbols are linked to the piano keys. 
That's a piano combination. I feel like they were chronicling them like they were like naturally occurring or something, but I thought this, this definitely don't seem like naturally occurring stones. I love floating hexagon. Just doing hexagon things. I'm hearing noises. A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. You thought he was crazy for talking about floating stones, but right here in front of you, I think you owe that murderer an apology. How can someone build something like this out of stone? Huge pipe organ section. Waves push air through the carved stone tubes, creating different sounds. Is that a thing that gonna work? Like an, an internally singing tide, essentially? When it comes in and out? How's the water get back out so that I can do this again? I've been studying the structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. There's a singing building somewhere around here. This, they're all irregular shapes. And they're overlapping each other. That's not really how those are supposed to look. You're breaking the rules. Whoa. Look how big that column is. And there's the key. And those look like stairs, so that's the man- yeah. So that's the man-made structure, which has its own giant artificial columns in it. You can even see like the chunks of rock it's apparently made of. But then there's also these columns everywhere. Maybe I was right when I talked about these- these basalt columns spreading like an infection throughout the island, because why would it be essentially growing over the structure? That's... Not how that works. It's not like a fungus. If they were, if these were crystals, then they could presume they could present potentially underwater in the right conditions and so on and so forth. Like they could, they could potentially grow. People grow crystals on purpose. You can't grow basalt columns though, because what you need is a giant pool of lava that or magma that just like slowly cools so, so that it cracks. Unless this entire area was literally submerged in a, in a giant lava pool, which I would have questions about where it's been and how long it's been around. Hmm. 